Hello. On Monday, March 16th, 2020, the Fountain and Warren County Health Department declared a public health emergency in response to the global COVID-19 pandemic. We know that COVID-19, or coronavirus, is a germ or virus that spreads from person to person. We know that it's most dangerous to those that are over 60 years of age and those with other medical conditions. Our goal at the Fountain and Warren County Health Department is to slow the spread of this virus and disease. To accomplish this, we all need to work together. COVID-19 is not like other viral infections. We have no medications or vaccines specifically for this disease. While it is true that most who get this disease will recover without severe illness, some people will get very sick, and some of these will die. The most vulnerable to this disease are those over 60 years of age and those with other chronic illnesses. Protecting these members of our community requires us all to work together. For now, this means following some simple, but not so fun, rules. First, limit travel to necessary and emergency travel only. Second, avoid gathering in groups of more than 10. Third, stay home if you're sick. Fourth, keep your distance and avoid crowds. This means don't shake hands when you see someone else. Greet them with your voice or your smile. Fifth, wash your hands or sanitize them well and often. Both washing and using a hand sanitizer are equally effective. And finally, don't touch your face. This is how the germ or virus enters your body and how you spread it to someone else. The Fountain and Warren County Health Department is here to help. On this page of our website, we invite you to sign up for email updates. These will only be used for significant updates from our department, and not daily. We also want you to learn more about who needs tested for COVID-19. Some of the specific answers may change from the time this message is recorded, but it is important to know that testing does not equal treatment. We hope to be able to test more people in the coming weeks, but currently, testing is extremely limited. Fortunately, the guidance for most who are feeling sick is the same regardless of if you have testing or don't have testing. If you are very sick, meaning you have significant difficulty breathing or uncontrolled fevers, you should seek emergency care through the emergency room or by calling 911. Please call ahead. Notify 911 staff or the ER staff immediately upon arrival if you are arriving with a fever and a cough so that they can prepare, properly treat you, and isolate you and protect you and other patients and our medical staff. For most people who get ill from COVID-19 or coronavirus, the guidance on this page is your best place to start. If you think you need to be tested, click the Think You Need to Be Tested button below and follow steps one through five. Please read very carefully. If you are requesting testing, you will be directed to email your requests through our website. Filling your information out completely will help us to answer requests more quickly. Non-emergent cases of coronavirus should not go to the doctor's office. If you're sick, but not bad enough to be tested, click on the sick, but not bad enough to be tested button below. This will take you to the home care guidance from the Indiana State Department of Health. We also have many other resources below for your reference. I would like to draw your attention to the work excuse policy which allows you to get a work excuse note from the health department. This only applies if you're sick with a cough, fever, or respiratory symptoms. If you request a note, you will need to email us or call us directly at the contact information indicated in the document. We also have home guidance on how to clean and disinfect to protect yourself and your family from coronavirus. 
Further resources are available for businesses, food establishments, churches, child care, and funeral homes. We know it's difficult to change our routines and to limit travel. We have a link below that gives you some ideas of what to do when you're stuck at home or restricted to just Fountain and Warren County. How lucky we are to live in such a wonderful place. The final local guidance document I'd like to highlight is perhaps the most important. It talks about how to support your neighbor and your community during this difficult time. Please read this and reach out safely and respectfully to those most vulnerable in your community. Next to this, you will find a link to a GoFundMe account. Our purpose here is to accept donations which would be dispersed at an undetermined future date to help relieve some of the financial burden that individuals and businesses will suffer because of the COVID-19 pandemic and the necessary public health restrictions that have been put in place. This money will not be used to offset medical expenses. The governing body for money disbursement will be the Fountain and Warren County Board of Health. More details will be given on this in the future at a yet to be determined date. Below these local resources are links to guidance from the CDC and the Indiana State Department of Health. These may help to answer any other questions you may have. If you have any other questions and you can't find the answer to it here, please email us, call us, or chat with the Health Department online. Most of our services will only be available during local business hours, but expanded hours may be available in the future. The Indiana State Department of Health does have a 24-hour public toll-free phone number available to answer your questions which you might find helpful. The number at this time is 1-877-826-0011. Thank you for your understanding and your patience as we work through this time, trying time together. The only way we'll be successful as a community is if we all work together to slow the spread of coronavirus. Thank you and have a nice day.